Hello, I am Detective Inspector Jonathan Oates, London Borough of Ealing. This is the seventh in a series of talks about local history crimes. On the 5th of August 1936, Linford Derrick walked into Ealing Police Station, which was then located on the High Street. He said to the officer on duty, I have just murdered my best friend. Naturally, I want to talk to you all about it. This was a very unusual thing for anyone to do, to walk into a police station and openly admit to murder. The police asked him what had happened, and he gave them a long story. Linford Derrick had been an officer in the army during the First World War, following a public school education. He had separated from his wife, but he had lived in Ealing since 1933, living in a house as a boarder in Lammas Park Road, and earning his money as a tennis coach. In this capacity, he had met Kathleen Wheeler and her husband, Arthur Wheeler, who lived at a house in Winscombe Crescent, the Brentham estate. The three people had become great friends, and and Mr. Derrick often met Kathleen Wheeler to take her out to the cinema or for shopping trips. He'd even been on a holiday with the family. They were very close. A few days ago, um, Derrick and Mrs. Wheeler and, their, and Mrs. Wheeler's two small children went on holiday to Bognor. Unfortunately, her husband could not come with them because he, who worked as an insurance clerk, in an office in the City of London was unable to take the time off. On the night of the 4th of August, Linford Derrick and Arthur Wheeler met up for a meal and a drink. They discussed the First World War in which both of them had fought as officers. And but unfortunately, following that, there was a severe argument between the two men. In very early hours of the 5th of August, Linford Derrick, who said he could not get to sleep, decided to walk over to his friend's house, enter the house and apologise to his friend for the argument, which may seem a strange thing to do at 2 o'clock in the morning. It seems he had a key to the house and he entered. He then met Wheeler. Wheeler was armed with a truncheon, which he kept behind the front door. Wheeler accused Derrick of having an affair with his wife, or at least wanting to. He pointed to the bedroom and said, I bet you wish you were with Kath in that room. At that point, the two men had a fight, and, as a, um, and in the course of the fight, Derrick used the truncheon to buff overpower and to kill Wheeler. Derek initially thought he ought to make the murder look like a robbery and he um, took a few items from the house before going home. When he got home he realised he should confess so he went to a police station and confessed. The police then, after having taken the statement, went to the house in Winscombe Crescent, searched it, they found the dead body of Arthur Wheeler and as Derek had said he had been hit over the head of a truncheon and killed that way. It, they also interviewed some of the neighbours as well. The neighbours said that they did not hear anyone arriving at the house but they did hear um, some sounds during the night. Derek was accused of murder, he was tried at the Old Bailey and in his defence it was argued that it was manslaughter. It was a case of self-defence um, acting against the man who was trying to kill him. The jury found that it, it was indeed a case of manslaughter, but he was, he, was the, he was given the verdict of guilty, which meant, fortunately for him, not a death sentence of course, but a number of years in prison. In the early 1950s, Derek was again living in Ealing and again he was earning his money as a tennis coach and professional. He eventually died in 1969. It is uncertain exactly what happened 
on the night of the 4th of August and the morning of the 5th of August at the house in Winscombe Crescent. My personal opinion is that Derek murdered his friend, possibly um, after the argument and possibly because Derek was jealous and envious of his friend. After all, Derek, who had been to public school and from a privileged background, was now reduced to living in a boarding house, um, in a single room, away from his wife. Whereas Wheeler was living in his own house with his wife and two children and had a steady job in the City of London. It seems also that Derek, who as a tennis player was a very active, healthy and physically fit man, ought to be able to overpower the more sedentary um, man Wheeler, who after all was an office worker and clearly did not have the same level of physical fitness as his friend. He should have been able to overpower him if this was a case of self-defence. However, in my opinion, it was a case of murder in which he used his um, stronger physique to overcome the weaker man who he probably despised um, due to his low social status and him having, to, having had done better in life than he had. Thank you. Please remember to like the video and to subscribe to Ealing Library's YouTube channel.